Hi, it's me, Twyla, and I have another editing tutorial for you today. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to bring out dramatic skies using only Lightroom. I'm going to be using um, a couple of presets that I am gifting to you. So if you check the link with this video, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, it should just be down below. Um, that will take you to a place where you can download um, the brushes that I'm using for the sky and for the sun in this video. And as always, if you find yourself needing more help um, editing your images, my editing course Embracing the Storm is available for enrollment. I walk you through everything from safely backing up your images to finding a workflow that works fast for you, but also helps keep you organized. And then of course we go into um, editing by hand in Lightroom, um, explaining every single module and how I use them and how you can use them to discover your own style, plus lots, lots more. So I will leave a link for that class below as well. Okay. So this is obviously the final image. So I wanna take you through and show you um, the steps I took to get here. So this is the before image. So in order to bring this sky out in Lightroom, what I have to do is underexpose the image so that all of the highlights in the sky are properly exposed. If I had taken this image with my couple properly exposed, it would have looked more like this and a lot of this detail in the sky would have been blown out past the point that I could recover it and get all of those great details back in post. So for that reason, I am usually, when I'm shooting, I'm exposing for any of the highlights that I want to be available in my edit. Um, so in this case, that's where the sun is starting to peek out from the clouds, and this was a sunrise session. So I just made sure my meter was reading for the highlights, like the brightest part of the image, and that happened to be up here. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back and just get the color edit back because we're not going over that today. Um, but I am going to reset everything that I've done to the sky and show you how I do that. So again, um, I'm going to use a couple of presets that I use for um, the sky and the sun, and then those are available to you for you to just throw on your images as well. So um, for the first, the first thing we're going to do is work on the sky. So I'm going to use a graduated filter, and then I'm just going to drag it down over the sky and just a little bit past into the water. And then I'm going to choose the Twilight Dramatic Sky. That's what I'm giving you. Um, and then I'm just going to position it so that it looks good to me. Um, the secret to a really good graduated filter is that it's very gradual so that it's not super obvious, you know, like, um, like you don't want to make, basically you don't want to make your sky like overly dark. Um, and then it's just very obvious that you've like, you know, altered the image in some way. So we want it to look as natural as possible. So a lot of times that just means making, um, a more gradual filter basically. So making it bigger and then just kind of playing with the positioning of it um, until it looks really good to you. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. So when I hit the letter O, you can see um, in green everywhere that is being affected by these settings. And so you can see that it's in their hair. So it's making their hair darker and it's making some stuff that I don't necessarily want to be darker, darker in this image. So what I'm going to do is come over here to range mask. I'm gonna to go to color. I'm going to select the dropper tool and then I'm just going to select, I'm making a big selection of all of the colors that I actually want this to apply to. And then you can see it lifted off of the grass over here and in their hair. And if I hit the letter O again, it's going to show me that mask. And if I needed to, so sometimes like, you know, your clients are going to be wearing the same colors as are in your sky or, you know, it's going to be on a different part of the landscape that you don't want that applied to. So you can go over to brush, you can hit erase, and then you can just erase 
any of that green off of whatever you want. But for this instance, the range mask worked really great and it actually didn't apply to anything that I didn't want it on. So there, we could stop there. Or um, if I wanted to really kind of bring out that sun, and this is a great trick for backlit images or an implied backlight. So just as long as you're like cool with where you're, you know, the direction of your light, where it's coming from, like don't put a sun over like in the sky in an opposite direction of where the sun really is basically. So for this one, I'm going to choose the radial filter. And then I'm gonna choose the Twyla Sunlight 2. And then I'm just going to create a filter right over where the sun is. And this is just to bring it out some more. Um, and then you can make that bigger if you like. Let me hit that O button so my mask goes away. Okay. That's it. So now the great thing about this is, so when I um, took this image, I actually made a GIF out of it. So you can see down below all of these other images. So to do the GIF, I just sat there like really still basically. So this was handheld and um, here I'll go into library and you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, so they're all under exposed, same settings, but you can see that water moving back and forth. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't need to select these first couple ones. Um, I'm going to select all of the images and then I'm going to go to sync settings and then I'm going to make sure I select local adjustments here. The local adjustments are everything we just did to the sky and the sun and I'm going to synchronize it. And because this image was taken from, you know, the same position, um, and using the same settings, the sky is going to apply perfectly. And so you can see how this can be a really great time saver as opposed to going into Photoshop and doing a sky overlay for every single image. Um, yeah, so that's basically my process for dramatic skies. I hope you enjoy these brushes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you can subscribe to this channel if you want to make sure you don't miss any future editing tips or whatever else I decide to throw on here. Um, you can leave me a comment below and um, request what the next video will be if you have something else you would like to learn from me. Uh, thanks for tuning in.